Oh, I am so excited we're going to draw some dragons today. I'm just waiting for my computer to say we're live, but just in case <laughs> we are. Hey, there it is. My computer says we're live now. So how uh, I'm getting better at this, at timing it. I'm so glad. Let me pop in the camera here. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our 30 days, 30 drawings challenge. One drawing a day, 10, 15 minutes a day with me, Mark Kistler, right here on YouTube Live, my channel. I'm so glad you guys are accepting the challenge. It's going to inspire your creativity and just launch your imagination. So let's get right to it. We're going to be drawing. Let me turn that camera off and let me switch this around. We're going to be drawing this really awesome dragon today. And I think I might even... Uh, record another dragon later on tonight it's gonna to be really really cool so if you're ready I have the uh, the text box open that uh, if you want to send me a text during the lesson feel free to <clears throat> um, this is a, a drawing lesson right here that is inspired by my featured guest appearance at the Texas Renaissance Festival I'm so excited um, I'm gonna be um, at the Texas Renaissance Festival the weekend before Thanksgiving and that weekend is uh, November 21st and 22nd. I'm going to be in booth number, our guest artist booth number 243. I'm so excited. So if you're anywhere near Texas, uh, uh, Houston, Texas, you come on to uh, up north, northwest Texas. And I'm going to be drawing dragons. I'm going to have a lot, a lot of my dragon work available, my dragon teddies. I'm going to autograph my koala dragons. I did a lot of dragon drawings uh, for my guest appearance there. And also, I'm going to be doing some drawing lessons, too. Ooh, look at this dragon, too. Maybe we'll draw this dragon tonight. You ever watch that wonderful feature of, uh, video, uh, the movie, um, How to Train Your Dragon? You guys ever see that? Well, a lot of those students, a lot of those students, uh, a lot of those animators were my students many years ago when they were growing up, and I love going to these movies and seeing how far my students have gone with their passion for visual illustration and their um, <coughs> joy of drawing. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, so let's, let's draw this dragon. It's going to be really cool. All right, now for this guy, we're going to start with... So we're gonna block him in. All right, here we go. So let's draw. Let's draw the dragon's face. We're gonna sketch and block it in. Okay, sketch, sketch, sketch. We're gonna block this guy in here. And take this now, and we'll draw the neck. And look at I'm gonna pull pull this up by little artist trading card, so I have my reference. And I'm gonna draw my neck coming down here. Watch this. Just blocking. You're scribbling. You're sketching it out here. It depends on how long you want your neck. I'm going to have this guy, see this, he's going to be looking over the wall. Look at those wonderful fingers and claws. So let's put the wall down here and we'll have his fingers and claws coming over the top. This is the shaping and the forming part of the lesson right here. This is the shaping and the forming. Now, uh, for the fingers, I'm going to start with this finger right here. I'm going to have this one hooking over the top and then draw that finger, just, just block it and just sketch it in here. That's going to be our wall. And then I'm going to do another one. Now, this is these 12 Renaissance words. This one, I'm going to pick it up, tuck it back behind here. That's overlapping, see? And it gets a little bit smaller as it moves away. And then I'm going to do another finger back here. It's even smaller, tucked away a little, a little higher up. So those will be those fingers. See how I have it overlapping? See how it comes over the, the front there? Now, watch this. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. I'm going to have the knuckle of this wonderful claw. It's going to come down here. Then here's the wrinkle part. That's the overlapping part. Now you see when I did these these uh, fingers here coming over the top, I actually put the little curving contour lines to make it look a little chubby. And we'll do that. We'll make your fingers have a lot of detail, a lot of character. Okay. So now this one, it's not exactly the same, but it's enough to make it look really cool. Let's overlap this. Now, if you're watching a recording of this if you're watching this YouTube live uh, it's recorded this one you know what I'm gonna have this one kind of kind of picking up like this like just a little bit you know like some people when they're drinking coffee or tea they have their little pinky out here I'm gonna make this this is a dainty dragon little dainty look at his he she has her little finger out here like that look at that and that cool little dragonina all right and uh, little 
I'm gonna thin, make it a little thinner since it's a small pinky one. All right, that'll be really, that'll look fine. Isn't that terrific? All right, now if you guys like drawing dragons and you're anywhere near Texas that weekend before Thanksgiving, the 21st and 22nd of November, remember I'm gonna be at the Texas Renaissance Festival as their guest artist. I'm gonna be in booth. Uh, of course, now I want to see the booth number and I dropped it. Ha! <laughs> Oh, boot 243. There it is. So you can look for me out there. All right. And I'm going to be doing lessons and having my artwork. It's going to be cool, cool, cool. Let's block in the eyes. These are the eyes. This is still the sketching, shaping part of our drawing. Now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Let's work on this dragon's face. Let's work on the dragon's face. Now, I think that's one of the reasons why I loved How to Train Your Dragon so much. Besides the fact that a lot of my students were... Uh, grew up and became animators on that movie. I love the variations of dragons. You ever see that book, The Making of How to Train Your Dragon? I love that book. You'll see so many different sketches of all these wonderful, crazy ideas that they had. Just that you, ideas for dragons that you would never have thought just in a million years. You get these genius, imagination, creative artists. <laughs> they, uh, they just made the most interesting variations of dragons. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to pull his chin down just a little bit right here. Let's pull little dragon's chin down around here. All right. Then I'm going to kind of stretch his face out a little bit. Looking cool. Now the fun part of this one. Now here's the center line. Now watch what I'm going to do with the teeth. Watch what I do. And look at what I did on this guy. You see his teeth here. You see how all the teeth. Here's the center line. All the teeth curve a little bit this way to the to the center and all the teeth curve this way toward the center line and these all these teeth curve away from the center line and the back all these teeth curve see what I'm talking about I'm going to use that alignment that middle line and I'm going to have like we'll draw the like the big tooth in front and then I'm going to draw some other little teeth going up along the back see that in that fun you can put a whole bunch you can put one or two you can just put a few now let's work on the bottom teeth here now use a variation. Don't have to be exactly the same on both sides. Your eye likes an asymmetrical pattern when you're doing teeth like this. So you don't want to do exactly the same. Some big, some small. Now artists call this planned randomness or organized chaos. Like if you're drawing leaves on a tree or fur on a bunny rabbit or teeth on a dragon, you want it to, everyone to be look like it's random. You're, so you're planning the randomness. That's a cool oxymoron, right? Organized chaos, right? Uh, or like le uh, wood grain, um, other examples of that. Now, if you want to, look what I did on the eyes. You see the eyes right here? See the eyes? See how I put this really cool one eyelid over the two eyes? Let's do that. Let's draw this eyelid coming over. Watch this. This one's going to be coming right over the top of those two like that. Isn't that fun? And then the bottom of the eyelid, <coughs> excuse me, is going to come, it's going to overlap, it's going to come right over those guys. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Isn't that fun? And then, so this eyelid right here, I'm going to draw the top of the eyelid, put a couple little wrinkles here, and it's going to come down. So then we'll clean that up. See, I'm going to erase these extra lines here, see? Now, look at that, the little hooded eyes. All right, what do you think? Do you love it? Give me a thumbs up. Oh, wait, on my, you can't give me a, a thumbs up, thumbs down, happy face on this YouTube Live. But if you go to my Mark Kessler Live uh, Art Mondays, Mark Kessler Live with my homeschoolers and my classroom schoolers, what's fun about my Monday one hour classes, they're an hour, they're not just 15 minutes each like this YouTube. But this is a wonderful 30 day challenge. But if you want to draw for a full hour with me on several different hours on Mondays and integrate as part of your curriculum, I have over a thousand students, I'm going to tuck the pupil here, over a thousand homeschool and classrooms around the world that draw with me on Mondays, 10 o'clock. Uh, for my younger students and t uh, 11 15 for an hour for my intermediate advanced students plus there's hundreds of hours of my recorded lessons on there and what I love about that platform is you guys can interact with me right now I'm not able to interact with you 
Um, but with the Marcus Live on Mondays, you can show me on your on the camera your drawings. You can look down on the screen. You can see the map where everybody's drawing around the world. I love that map component. You can text me and you can communicate with me right there live. It's really really cool. All right, so that's on Mondays. And if you guys want to get it, become a member. You parents out there, let's put the the thickness on the eyes. If you parents want to become a member of my Art Mondays with Mr. Mark, I'd love to have you incorporate me as part of your curriculum. I'm going to put a foreshortened wrinkle here. Just go to Marcus Live and click uh, sign up. It's 50% off right now. It's really a good deal. It's 49 bucks for a whole year. I'd love to have you. All right, here, let's draw this. Let's draw. Oh, I love it. It's really shaping up here. You guys like that? How that eye's tucked back there? And I'm going to add the, wait till I add the shading, but I'm going to put this dark, let's get this really dark value down here. It, I don't think that anybody's ever given art lessons at the Renaissance Festival, so I, I, I think I'll be the first illustrator to teach folks. I'm going to do lessons, dragon, every hour on the hour, I'm going to teach you how to draw a different dragon, okay? At the Renaissance, I'm going to show you how to draw the koala dragon, we're going to do the Bigfoot the the big toe dragon we're gonna draw the teddy dragon and the toothy dragon I've got a really cool got a really cool one called the bunny dragon that one's really here I'll show you this is a brand new one I just finished this one. Oh, you guys will be the first group to see it I haven't even made posters check this out what do you guys think of my bunny dragon isn't that fun and I'm gonna have posters of this and I'll autograph posters of this at the Renaissance Festival too all right now, I had some emails, folks asking me, how can they get a free, one of my free artist trading cards with my autograph? I'll sign it for you. Well, I'd love to send you and your family an artist trading card. One per family. All you have to do, there is strings attached. You need to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope with one of your drawings. You have to have one of your drawings included, okay? That sound like a fair deal? A, a, a drawing for a drawing? I'll send you one of my drawings if you send me one of yours. One per family. Now, if you want to order a collection of these wonderful art trading cards, I appreciate the support in the business. This is how I'm able to pay for my mission to teach millions of people how to draw in 3D. So I really, really appreciate you supporting my dream quest, my, my drawing uh, mission here. I just love it. I love teaching here on the Mark Kissler Live, Mark Kissler Live, and um, with YouTube. This is cool. Now let's put the wings on the top, just like I like this guy. See his cool little wings there on his ears and his neck. So for the wings, I'm going to come right here. I'm going to go up on both sides. This has really turned out cool, you guys. And then it's going to anger down. Now, if you're going to be at the Texas Renaissance Festival November 21st or and 22nd, send me an email. <coughs> Excuse me, text text me, would you? Or Facebook me. Let me know you're going to be there. I'll have a lookout for you. And uh, here, let's put, look at this. I'm going to draw the, draw these one. These are his ear wings. Now, I'm going to scallop this down here. See this? I'm going to curve this in. Almost like uh, bat wings, right? I'm going to curve. Ooh, look at this. Like, like bat dragon. And it comes out. There's his wing, uh, uh, winged ears. Oh, this is looking really good. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Already 14 minutes into the lesson. And we're supposed to end at 15 minutes, but of course I go long, right? I bet you guys out there say, well, of course he's going long. He never can stop at 15 minutes. I know. I should rename us for 20 minutes a day, huh? All right. Well, that's what I used to always say on the Secret City and the Draw Squad. Draw, 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 draw 20 or 30 minutes every day. So, I'm just sticking to what I used to always say on PBS. Some of you guys might have remember me as Commander Mark on the PBS series. All right. Well, I'm going to do work on this dragon, uh, the wings down here. I'm going to draw his little wings um, down over here. Let's take a look at our our source. Let's take a look at the poster here. This big poster. Look at this big thing here. And you see that these I autograph these at the at my comic convention appearances and when I go to elementary schools and do assemblies and I autograph these at the um, Texas Renaissance Festival. I'm going to put this wing down here, all right, on both sides. 
So let's let's take this and let's let's span out. Now I forgot to do one thing with these wings at the very top up here. I'm not going to do it on the ears, but right here I'm going to put a few little claws at the top. See, this is how the dragons hold on to things. Okay, so I'm going to draw the end being a little bit longer. I'm going to draw the those lines coming down here. Then let's start here thin and taper down to the point. Take, cut, I'm going to put little claws here. That looks so cool. I love drawing wings. I love drawing dragons. This is great. Now, Dan, let's do the same thing. Now, if I'm going too fast, don't panic. Don't stress. Push pause. You watch the recording. I'll post this in just a couple minutes. It will be posted in my collection of my uh, 15 to 20 minute lessons on there. And here, let's put the light. The light's going to be coming from this direction. It's very important that you know where the light's coming from. All right. Now, if you want to get a, a chart with those Renaissance words, that shading and overlapping and size and placement, all these words are important with descriptions. Um, for all you homeschoolers that are members of my Mark Kiss Alive, please print that up. It's right there on the membership site. All the resource charts, the drawing compass, the pencil power club levels, the uh, 12 Renaissance word chart, the 22 art elements chart those are all there and I want you to print those up let's shade suns here and so I'm, I'm gonna use a blender in just a second here but I want to get the first layer see the Suns up here so I'm shading opposite okay oh look I just got an email someone asked me how they sign up um, just go to markkisslerlive.com and you click uh, sign up and you can read it it's forty nine dollars it's not ninety nine it's half off okay it's half off for this season for this 30 days 30 drawing challenge hope you guys uh hope you draw with me on youtube every day for 15 minutes okay 20 minutes okay 25 minutes and watch what happens during imagination just you are going to be so just impressed and amazed with what happens to your imagination your drawing skill and your creativity with this practice 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 isn't that something? All right, now the sun's up here. We're going to blend this in just a second. I'm going to put a little extra darkness under the chin right here. You guys loving this? Isn't this great? Now, if you want to know when I'm going to be doing some live webcasts in the evening during this 30 day, 30 drawing challenge, I post it on Facebook, usually about a half hour before I decide to go on live. If you decide to friend me on Facebook, look for the picture of me with these birds behind my. my uh, picture. There's a whole bunch of different Mark Kistlers on on Facebook. I want you to make you friend the right one. Me, Mark Kistler, me. <laughs> there's so many Mark Kistlers on Facebook. I, you know, I didn't, I thought, oh, there's the Mark Kistler's not that common of a name. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> there's so many. And so look for that birds. And friend me. If you friend me, uh, I'll keep you posted, okay? Oh, you know what people have been doing now recently? See, the sun's up here. You know what they've been doing? I'm so excited to see this. People have been posting, tagging me, tagging my name, Mark Kistler, and they've been posting uh, their drawings on Facebook and then tagging so it pops up on my wall. Look at, see, I, put, I wanted to put this behind so I remember exactly. I loved how I draw these fingers. See that? We're going to draw, we're going to put more detail. See those fingers? That look cool. Do you love it? So that's what we're going to do right here. <clears throat> so let's add some detail. Now watch. I'm going to draw. Now I'm going to go kind of fast on this, but if you're watching the recording, you can uh, you can push pause. Okay. I'm going to go kind of fast on these one. Don't you fret if you don't if you can't get it real time with me right now. Don't worry. Just sit back and watch. Get the idea. Okay. Get the idea. I'm sorry I was off the camera there. I got so into my drawing I forgot to check the camera setting. And then I'm going to put, oh, I love these claws. All right. Now I know I'm going fast. So just you know, don't stress, don't worry. You can watch the recording when I post it to redrew these. I'm going to put the guidelines for the shadows. See, the sh I'm going to pick those claws up off the ground. That's the important part. I want to make sure I pick those claws up. So I'll put a shadow. Yeah, let's put a shadow. I got an, an email asking what pencil I use to get it so dark. I use the Pentel P209. It's an HB lead. It's a softer lead than the standard. This is a, a, a number two. This is a 2H pencil. Uh, most people use that. It's usually a 5 millimeter. I'm using a 9 millimeter. A thicker lead. 
a thicker lead and a darker, softer lead. I just love the HB lead after all the ones I've experimented with. I'm going to put a shadow between these here. Put a little shadow. I'm going to put a shadow on the ground. I'm, now, what's going to happen when we use the. Isn't that fun? What's going to happen here when we use the. The my blender is it's going to give it a really nice smooth look to it. Isn't this fun? Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I am having so much fun. Look at the time. I can't believe it. Hey, I thought this was going to be a 20 minute lesson. Ah, I can't keep it to 20 minutes. It's so cool. We're just adding more detail. Maybe this will be our first half hour one because I'm adding so much detail here. I want to add this this one then I'll be doing this at the Texas Renaissance Festival too I'll be drawing right there right on right on the on the uh, canvas or the board whatever I'm drawing with on that day <coughs> let's clean it up and draw that horizon line <coughs> excuse me coming around here oh that's looking cool now we want to pick up this we want to pick up this uh, finger here so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw put a little line down here put a line here and a line here that's going to be our guide for our shadow okay now this claw to me is a little too small no problem don't worry just let's just redraw it let's make this claw just a little bit bigger see that <laughs> now I made it did I make it too big uh, uh, yeah now I made it a little too big I went crazy on that one so don't worry about it just erase it and fix it until you like it until it's the right shape for you and let's put the shadow under this one let's put the shadow that picks that finger up over here see it lifts it up that's our lift up shadow put the shading in between here oh, this is really cool well remember if you guys want to get your your own free artist autograph trading card send me a stealth address stamped envelope the way you do that the address on how you send it is you go to my website markkisslerlive.com click the contact tab it says contact and it gives you all the instructions on how to do it and some of you are sending in uh, uh, your self address stamped envelopes with your drawings <clears throat> and requesting 10 cards or getting 20 extra cards uh, purchasing them from me on and all the instructions are, thank you so much for 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 supporting my mission here and for buying my art I appreciate that so much so you get one free card for sure I hope you get a free card if you want to get more I show you that if you put ten dollars in the envelope I can get send you uh, like I think it's four more cards and if you send 20 I send you I believe eight cards totals so really really look at the instructions on the uh, contact tab and you're gonna get a whole collection alright well let's blend the shading I'm loving it I'm loving this boy this turned out to be a little longer than a lesson but it's so fun you can use your finger okay if you want to use your finger that's just fine too I'm using <coughs> the blending stomp just I'm using the blending stomp just to have a little more control I want to give the whole wing a tone here and look at that isn't that fun oh this is looking cool you guys I love it love it love it love it I'm gonna give the fingers more of a tone all right well there you go thank you for accepting the 30 days 30 drawing challenge I hope you share this video with your friends and your neighbors and your classmates get everyone drawing the dragons with me okay I hope you join me at the Texas Renaissance Festival you come by my my guest booth and let's see if I remember the number booth number 243 November 21st and 22nd and there is our really cool here I'm going to put I'm going to put these little look he's going to put all these little dragons around here like in that fun look at that look yay there's my really cool uh, artist guest feature artist day well thank you for drawing with me uh, come on back every day 30 days let's do a new drawing every day you guys did great I'm proud of you bye everybody